Hey everyone, my name's Kristen and welcome to My Cathedral Garden. If you're new here, I'm a former elementary teacher who is now a homeschooling mom to four kids. I have a fifth grader, a third grader, a first grader, and a four-year-old this year. And today, I'm super excited because I've got some help and Hallie Kate and I are going to show you how to do a handwriting lesson. So, come join us. Today we are going to start Hallie Kate learning cursive and I thought it would be fun to show you guys how I kind of approach handwriting with my kids. I really enjoy teaching handwriting. Um, I feel like it's super duper important. It's one of my things that I'm kind of a stickler on with my kids and um, their development as they are in the primary grades uh, specifically. And so I wanted to just bring y'all along, talk to you about it, and show you what we do. You ready? Okay. We start off using a Becca manuscript. Um, she is doing her very first day of cursive. She is in first grade. And I remember um, I learned cursive around second grade. I think a lot of people learn it around second or third. Uh, but my son, my oldest son, when we were at his uh, little school that we went to part-time, one of the things they did is that they started learning cursive in first grade. And I remember scoffing and telling the teacher, good luck, because at the moment, his print was atrocious. And she was like, you would be so surprised um, as to how well they do. It's so good for their little brains. And a lot of them that have not great print have beautiful cursive. And I did not believe her, but turns out she was right. So from that point on, I have started teaching kiddos cursive in first grade. I make sure that they have manuscript down pat and that they have handwriting down pat as well, that they know what is required of them, such as uh, making sure they start at the right spot. Um, for manuscript, that means starting at the top. We don't make any letters really from the bottom at all. So always starting at the top and going down, going from left to right when they cross something, things like that, little itty bitty things like that. And if you would like a video explaining that and showing you guys what I'm talking about more in depth, let me know in the comments down below and I can do that. So she has a pretty good grasp on manuscript and now because of that, we have done that for kindergarten and for the first half of the year in first grade, we're gonna move on to numbers and cursive. Uh, numbers and cursive. We are also still using a Becca. This is their first grade cursive and this is just a little um, cursive formation guide. And that I'm going to keep in her folder. This is a just a little folder that has different things and we have different days marked. It's just gonna go in the front of her folder in case she ever needs to refer to it. Um, it also, well, let me show you this real quick. It also will show like what lines to form first and which direction they go. So if she forgets and I'm not available right at that moment, she can refer back to that. So that's gonna be right here, okay? Mm -hmm. um, all righty. That looks like an e. It is. Know. Yes, they do, you're right. So the very first thing we are going to start learning mm -hmm. in this Abeka curriculum is the letter E, and more specifically, um, a lowercase e. So, I'm gonna show you what to do after you write your name on it. Alrighty, I'm gonna get you a different pencil. One that's a little bit sharper. But can I have the blue thing on You want the eraser? Of course. Yeah. Tip number one, have a good sharpened pencil. Not one like this where they're having to figure out which not one like this where they're having to figure out like where does it write better. A good sharpened pencil as you begin handwriting, it's gonna really help. All right, let's get back and focus here. Okay, tip number two when teaching any handwriting at all is to make sure you have the right posture and the right hand placement and pencil grip. Um, so let me see here. Right pencil grip obviously is holding your pencil as if you were pinching. 
something that is important because it will help you as you form your letters and help your hand not to get quite as tired okay we've already worked on that so she's got that down um, and then when you are sitting and if you get the Becca um, handwriting they do have a sheet that shows all of this and with Leo Lyon I think it is but um, your paper you're sitting up tall right you're not slumped over like this writing we can't do handwriting like that can we you're sitting up tall or like that <laughs> can't do it hunched over either okay what do you do with this hand can you write with your hand with my yeah but are you supposed to can you do handwriting like that to give us your very very best handwriting you cannot where's that other hand supposed to be it's supposed to be on your page and your page if you're right-handed is slightly tilted upwards towards the right so let me pull y'all over and show her. Why don't you write your name first really quickly? As you can see, she's sitting up tall. She's holding down this side of the paper. And that's one of the things that I feel like is the hardest to, re to remember for them to do is to hold your pencil. Just write it in print, okay? Because you haven't learned how to write your name in cursive yet. Mm -hmm. You've tried. Okay. And if you see, she is taking her time, I'm gonna come around here for Pally Kate. She is taking her time forming all her letters. That is one thing I tell all my kids when we are doing, um, now make that one a little bit taller, okay? There you go. When we are doing their handwriting is if they will take their time and go slower, they actually will get done faster, okay? Great so job. To Way to have good, what? So you won't have to erase and do it again. Yes, you don't want to have to erase and do it again. You're right. Okay. Tip number two, don't leave. Stay by your kiddo. I know it is tempting to hand them a handwriting worksheet as a filler, and so that way you can go and work with someone else or do something else, but when they are learning handwriting at the beginning of either manuscript or cursive or anything new stay here now the lesson shouldn't be long it shouldn't be lengthy or anything like that but your presence is required if you want them to do it completely correctly and if you want them to get in the habit of where they have their hand and how they're holding their pencil you're gonna have to be the one for the first uh, couple months to be there and say, okay, remember, hold your hand like this. Where does this hand go? All right, where do you start? You never start at the bottom. You always start at the top or whatever, what have you. That's for manuscript. All right, so for cursive, here is one thing that we did um, a while back when we learned how to write things. Do you remember what I had you do? Did I have you first just write it? Or what did we do? We wrote it in the... You remember before we even did that, I showed you how to write it and then we wrote it in the air together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let me show y'all what we did. All right, so she is learning a lowercase e. I'm gonna show her exactly how I want her to write it and then we're gonna put our pencils down and we are gonna practice in various ways before we even touch pencil to paper. Okay, so when you do a lowercase e, you know you have the top line, the middle line, Basement. and the the baseline, the bottom line, right? And then you have the basement under here. Oh, that's sweet. Right? But just like your house, you have the roof and then the room and then the basement. Okay. Well, look here on cursive. So there's a little itty bitty line in between the middle line and the top line, isn't there? Mm -hmm. That'll help us with some things. But right now, we're, we don't need that. All we're doing with the little baby E, this is, the, this is what we're learning right now. We are learning a lowercase e. Now, when we taught you, when I taught you how to do print, did we ever, 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 ever start from the bottom? No. No. We didn't make a T like this, did we? No. And we didn't make an A like this, did we? Did we? No, not. We never started from the bottom. But in cursive, we do. A lot of letters we start from the bottom because we have to connect them in words. Okay, so that's something pretty, pretty special and pretty different. So where we're gonna start with a lowercase e is you're gonna start at the bottom 
And you're gonna go all the way up, kind of slanted, aren't you? Am I going straight up and down? Mm -mm. No, you're gonna go up and slant it. Touch, go around and touch that middle line. Come down and sit him down and then give him a tail. All right, hey. now, that is why those lines are in between the middle line and the baseline. Do you see those itty bitty dashes? Mm -hmm. Because if you look, I didn't have his tail go all the way back up to the middle line, did I? No, not for E, he had to stop in between, halfway in between the baseline and the middle line. Do you see? So let me show you one more time a little bit faster than we'll practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna slant up, touch and go around towards Mr. Smiley. Sit him down and go up to right in between. I love Mr. Smiley. Yes, okay, now Mr. Smiley, that actually is not part of the Abeka curriculum, but I wanted to show you guys um, what we're talking about because sometimes it can be hard to remember which direction hold on just a second which direction they should go and make their uh go towards and so i usually will put a mr smiley over on the left side of the page just a smiley face and they know that they move their pixel towards mr smiley it's just something easy to do um okay so now I've shown, Mr. Smiley's the best, I've shown her how to do that. So now we're gonna practice in a few different ways. We're just gonna take our pointer fingers of the hand that we write with. Sometimes right. kids will try to do this with the opposite hand and you don't need to do that. Okay, and then we will, nope, your other hand. Okay, so we're gonna start at the bottom. Let's just pretend like this is the desk. We're gonna start at the bottom, go up, around to the middle line and curve, sit him down, give him a tail. Do it again, now go a little bit more diagonally. Okay, here we go. Go up, around, sit him down, give him a tail. Not a big tail though, no. all right? So even here, it's important that they are doing the right formation. You're not letting them go all willy-nilly. To make this even more fun, you could get a little bit of shaving cream and have them do that if you want to, but it's not required. A sand tray, a salt tray, whatever you want, you know, go nuts. Are we gonna do that? Maybe later, okay, yeah. we'll see. That's also a good way to practice spelling. That one's a freebie. Okay, so we practice it here. Now let's put our fingers in the air. Ah. So we're gonna go, now look at me. And sometimes I like to get in front of them so my back is towards them a little bit. Finger oh, in the air. Oh, we're gonna do that next. Finger in the air, we're gonna start at the bottom, go. Diagonal up, touch the middle line, down and around. Do it again, make it go diagonal, diagonal up, around, down. Okay, now it's the fun part. I say find a funny surface. So then I might tell them, hmm, do it on the bottom of your shoe. So trace it on the bottom of your shoe. Trace it on your arm. Trace it on your partner's back. So you try, go. Around and down, good. Now I'll do it on your back. Okay, and this was something fun I did in the classroom. But you can do it, it does tickle. You can do things like that. So get a few practices in. Try it on your arm maybe right here. Go so your arm. Go up, around and down. So now that we've practiced forming our letters, we are ready to put pen to paper. Now, there is always a warm up little section on a Becca right here that will kind of coincide with that. So I'm gonna have her start that. You always start at that red dot, go up and down and around, kind of what we just practiced now. But can we go fast? Mm, no, 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 no. Take our time. All right, let me see. Get ready. Here we go. Now come up here and do the warm up first. Go towards Mr. Smiley. Yep, you got it. Okay, all right, good girl. Dot. Another tip I have for you guys is to talk about what they're doing as they're writing their letter. Yeah. Try again, okay? I'm gonna talk while you write. Okay. Okay, so yeah. you're, here's what I mean. Let's show them, Hallie Kate. So you're gonna start at the bottom, go up to the middle, and go straight back down that line. Sit him, yeah. and the dot. Oh. Ah. Don't forget okay, now I'm gonna to try to say that exact same phrase again. All right, start at the bottom, go diagonal up to the middle line, and straight back down that same line. Sit him down, give him a tail, and dot. Where's the dot? 
Oh, and here. dot, yeah, on that, okay, yep. Do you see how the dot is close to that middle line? Mm -hmm. And it's in between the midline, this little dotted oh, line. Yeah. I would even just write it on there. They have it a little bit below. I would write it on there, okay? In between, so basically it goes in between the top line and the midline, cool? All right, you try another one by yourself. That one looks great. Okay, start at the bottom, go up to the middle line, straight back down that line. Yep. Give him, sit him down, give him a tail, and dot. Good girl, do it one last time. Oop, yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> one last time. Go up, touch that middle line, back down the same line, give him a tail. Yep. Dot. And dot, good girl. Oh, now look, you have one more line of eyes. Eyes. And then you get to practice some more E's, just like you just did. Yay. Yay. Okay. Way to go. Good tracing. I like the way you're stopping. Where are you stopping? Okay. In between the baseline and the middle line, huh? Good job. That one's all right. Keep going. Try again. Now you do it by yourself. Try one by yourself where you start at the bottom, go up, around, have them sit down, stop. Ooh, that one's pretty. Can you try to make it go a little bit more sideways? Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit more diagonal. Go up to the middle line. You got it. Good. Now turn around. Good. Good, and stop. Ooh, very pretty. Way to go, sis. Looks like an eight. <laughs> kind of a little bit does. All right, trace it again. See how far diagonal it goes? Good job. Do you get the feel of the diagonal now? Okay, try it again. Good girl. All right, slow down a little bit. What letter are we writing? E. E, very good. All right, try it by yourself. Go diagonally. Good. Yes. Okay, a little bit more. Can I help you show you what I mean by more diagonally? Yeah. Real quick. Okay, so sometimes if they need some help, and Hallie Kay, you're doing a pretty good job, but this will just be to show people what happens if they're not doing it exactly correct, or if they're having a little bit of trouble, I will come behind them if they're right-handed like I am, or from in front of them, which is a little bit harder, so I can hold their hand correctly. Um, I have two lefties, so this does get a little bit tricky. Okay, so pick up your pencil. I'm not a lefty. You're not a lefty. Okay, so what's the difference between this and this do you see? Do you see there's more space right here? Okay. Then this one that you gave, that's because you're going too straight up. So, we have to go, yeah, diagonally. So, make them kind of reach out. Look at that. Now go. And so, I'll just maybe form them, help them form one or two. Ah, no, no, no. You got to go towards Mr. Smiley. It's okay. And then, if they mess up, try to catch them in the middle and make it fun. All right, don't be like, what are you doing? And did you hear what she just said? Oh, I need to go back and trace one. That's great. If she's having trouble remembering, go back, trace again, trace over them again, and keep going. Good. Now, uh -oh, let's erase it so you don't try to make the same mistake again. Erase it really good so you can't even see it. All right, here we go, you got this. Now go up, diagonal, go really sideways. Oh, try again, try again. More sideways than that, girlfriend. Alrighty, more sideways than that. Yeah. Can you make it a little bit more? I don't know. I think you can. Okay, more sideways, better. Around to Mr. Smiley, touch the ground and up. Oh, ooh, I think that might have been your best one yet. All right, finish out that tracing. Yeah. All right, and that is a handwriting lesson. Good job, what letter did you learn how to write today? Lowercase E. Lowercase E, and we are learning cursive. Yay. All right, you guys, there you have it. 
how to do a handwriting lesson. Obviously we were doing cursive today, but the same thing can apply to manuscript. A lot of the same principles that I've shared. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below for me um, and I will answer them as well as I can. Thank you to my lovely assistant. She did such a good job. She worked so hard on her handwriting and I'm so grateful. Um, if you have not already done so, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you want to be notified anytime I put up a new video, definitely don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right, you guys. Thanks. Bye.